Hello everybody, this is Jessica with Stamp a Blessing where I stamp to cheer the brokenhearted and to connect all of my friends to Jesus. And today is a special day. I want to tackle all of my budget-friendly friends that are trying to use their papers the best they can. And today I'm bringing a one-sheet wonder for you. I'm gonna show you a different way of cutting your paper, one sheet of 12 by 12, to get a bunch of different cards with it and just get creative. So I hope this video inspires you if it does give me a thumbs up and leave me some comments below i love hearing from you i'm gonna turn my camera around and use our time wisely we need to craft this morning this is the day the lord has made i will rejoice and be glad in it okay. so today i have something actually very special to share with you and it is a one sheet wonder that i've never shared before with you but i know many of you love using your papers particularly your your designer's just paper or 12 by 12 scrapbooking paper however you call them pattern papers you like using them in many ways last time i was with you i shared a very sweet card with the blessings of home and it was a sketch a very quick sketch that I encourage you to use with anything that you have at hand and in this case I was using the blessings of home because it's the sweets that I am at this point enjoying and showing everybody so this is my second video about the blessings of home but today I'm going to be focusing on the beautiful paper it's called heart and home 12 by 12 designer shirts paper very very simple paper but very very pretty paper look at the beautiful samples that they create with the paper in here something very particular about this paper in that i like it is that not only is very cute i'm gonna let me move some things around i was just putting things where i want them to go but isn't this beautiful? My friend Kathy sent it to me. Life is a journey. Enjoy every moment. So let's enjoy today. <laughs> this is my moment. Yay. Thank you, Jesus. So this is the front of the paper. I showed it to you before. Look how beautiful this one has leaves. This is a fresh freesia color. Absolutely gorgeous pattern in here. Some flowers. I think this works great for any springtime card but also for some manly cards i like this i like the greens i like the browns now when you turn this paper you will be surprised that it has some very nice patterns on the back that are wood grain and it has some more gray and white so it's like a wash i don't know it's, it's just beautiful it's very different than what i've seen before and i really like having this in my stash i actually got a few or several packages of this because i love this for scrapbooking i love scrapbooking and i love making a lot of things with this so so I may use some of this today. I may use the other side. But let me show you something. Today, particularly, I want to just take one sheet of paper. So I'm going to be focusing on the one that I like the most, which is of all this set, I think the one that I like, the pattern side and color side that I like is this one, which coordinates with a fresh freesia or freesia stamping pad from Stamping Up. We're going to be using this one. And I'm going to show you a way to cut this in a way that you can make 13 cards or more. Yes, that is true. 13 cards or more. <laughs> That's a lot, but I know you can make it. And the cool thing is you can get as creative, keep it as simple as you want, or you can just go balloonies and make even more than that. Now, I have a little sheet here. It's kind of like a sheet sheet for me that I created this morning and I plan to be posting on my blog. Okay, if it doesn't, if it's, if it doesn't get there today, remember it's a Monday, I'm running with the kids, doing school, taking them to classes and all of that. If it's not there today, we'll be there tomorrow for sure but it has all of the measurements written it has some details for some of the cards and you will also see a sneak peek of the 13 cards that i created with this particular one sheet wonder i hope that you enjoy it and you make it your own so what do you need you need one sheet of paper that you really like and you want to use wisely and you need a good cutter because we're going to start using it right now today i want to show you how to do this one sheet wonder cutting pattern so you can create many cards with just one sheet of paper particularly i made this one to make 13 cards you can definitely make more i'm sure you can but you're going to use this paper wisely so we're going to start by cutting at four and one quarter so i'm going to come right here i'm going to show you the four and one quarters right here okay and i'm going to start cutting from the bottom up now i'm going to take this i'm going to separate it oops if i can get it out why is this up? It should be right there. Now it's perfect. 
Okay, now this one I'm going to cut at four inches. I never even look at the back. Ooh, maybe I should have looked at the back. Okay, tip for you, look at the back before you do that because you may want to use the other side as well. And this is a four inch. And then this one, I'm not gonna cut it because it's already at three and three quarters. So we're just gonna check it. It should be right here at three and three quarters, okay? So first things first, we have a three and three quarters by 12. We have a four by 12, and we have a four and one quarters by 12, okay? To start, we're going to come here, and the first one, the one on this side, we're gonna cut it to four and one quarter by five and a half. Then the next piece, we're gonna cut four and one quarter by half an inch. And the last one will be a almost square, but it's a rectangle of four and one quarters by three and a half. So we'll take this one and easily we'll go to four and a quarter, which is the width of this, by five and a half. So let me cut it right here. Five and a half, here we go. Then we're gonna do four and a quarter by half an inch, so that's not much. Let me cut this one first. Let's do four and a quarter by three and a half. So we'll go to three and a half right there. Yikes, that seems like I'm missing something. <laughs> oh, I know what I did. Okay, I know what I did. So this is my bottom one. I need to fix this. This is my four and a quarter by three and a half, but then this one is going to be four and a quarter, and I'm gonna divide it in two. So that's not gonna be just a half. Okay, so if it's three, yep, that is three. So I'm gonna divide it by one and a half. So it's one and a half right here. You see, when you do things live, that is when you uh, determine that you have to fix something. So let me just go find a pencil. Actually, a pen would be so much better. Jessica, find a pen. So here you go. So Jessica is going to fix her own sheet and she's gonna put that this is supposed to be one and one and a half. So you have two of those, okay? And I can fix that before I post it online. But here we have the first parts of our cutouts. We have that one right there. We have this one and we have two that are gonna end like this, right there. Now we're gonna take the second part and we're going to cut the first. I have squares that are two by two. So I'm gonna cut two and then I'm gonna cut a two there. And this ones are gonna be all of those squares down there that are two by two squares. So let's see where we end up at the top and I'll give you the right measurement. The good thing is I can still fix it and I can post it on my blog later on and you'll have everything perfect. But I am cutting the right things right here. So you will have six squares, okay, that are two by two. You see them right here, six squares of two by two, okay. And the last piece right here is a four by, let me see how this is. I think this is a four by six. Yep, that's what we did. I'll divide this by two, because it's exactly what I did before. So we have four by two strips right here and right here. And then I have some squares going. And we're gonna cut this three and one and three quarters, we're gonna cut a square of three and one quarters. So here we go. Nope, three and three quarters, Jessica, don't make the mistake. Three and three quarters by three and three quarters. That's the first one, we have a square right there. Then we're gonna do three and three quarters by five and a half. So come over here and do a five and a half. And then this one is gonna be a three and three quarters by two and three quarters. Let's see. Yep, two and three quarters, perfect. ladies. But I love this, this is how it's supposed to end, okay? This is what is gonna give you a bunch of different cards. Now my next step was on my own little cheat sheet here to choose 13 card bases. Now you could take more than that, let me explain how. I brought these beautiful colors because I wanted to um, stay with the purplish colors, okay? So we have the Fresh Frisia, we have Highland Heather and we have Gorgeous Grape. Now I brought one more color after I chose those and it's a very um, sweet and, what is the word? Soft green, which is the soft sea foam. Look at the contrast of those colors right there. They all look gorgeous. So we have some Gorgeous Grape. 
you see it here some gorgeous grape card bases we also have some highland heather card bases and then i brought some of the sea foam because it just looks so gorgeous the colors together look so pretty now when i did my first try on this one sheet wonder I went with totally different car bases. If you see here, I chose two basic gray, two pale papaya, three fresh frisia, one garden green, three garden green over here, and two fresh frisia. So four garden green in total. Okay. And I sort of position it in the same way that is up here so that you see that I use this piece of paper with this one. So you sort of start seeing how I'm doing that. Okay. So let's see which one we want to start uh, doing today. I won't be able to make 13 cards in one video today, but I wanted to give you the heads up on how to cut your paper. And I want to make at least one or two cards with you. At the end, I'll show you all the cards that I made with the prototype or at the beginning. And you can see one of them already here. It's really, really pretty. So the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my cutter back because... This was one of my favorite cards, to be honest. And I want to show you what I did in here. I used this one piece of paper for two cards, which are the ones down here, as you can see. But I want to show you where you're going to cut. So it says cut at four inches from top left, top left. So this is my top left. Okay. And then, and two three eighths from top right. So if it's top left, four inches will be... Would be right here, right? Four inches. So let me mark that with my ruler. Okay, I'm gonna put it right here, and I'm gonna find my four inches, which is right here. Okay, that's my four inches right there. And then I'm gonna go down on the other side at two and three eighths. So I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna find two and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that right? Two and three, three eighths. One, two, three. Yeah, that's it. Two and three eighths. Okay, so now I know my math. So I have a mark at two and three eighths and I have a mark at four. I'm gonna bring my cutter and I'm gonna go right to those two spots, okay? Right here and right here. And I'm gonna cut right there. Okay? If you Did you like these cards? I really like this card. They turn out really nice. I think I love the colors. I hope you like the colors and you give it a try. This is the first of actually 13 cards that I made. So I want to show you the other 13 cards that I made with this same um, one sheet wonder. So all I showed you today was to how to cut the paper. You get to do all the other goodness. Oh, I love your hearts. Look at you. You're giving me hearties and thumbs up. You are so awesome. <laughs> okay. Almost done. Are you ready to see it? Okay. So this is the first card that I created and you see the similarities right here. 
very different um, color scheme, but very cool. And it's the same paper right there. I can tell that I use this one in here or something. I don't know, because this one looks a little higher in there. So I think I use this part. You see? It's a little lower. Yeah, that's what I did. Look. Ah, I did the car totally different. It's fine. They both look great. I think it works. And it's easy. This one, I added an embossing folder. The little flowers embossing folder. Tiny flowers or something like that. So you can use an embossing flower and embossing folder. And I can I put some of the denim um ribbon that actually comes with a suite in here for this one i'm using the in color fresh fresh yeah okay but i use the same thing and then do you see a little detail on this one this one has the flower kind of like stamp off and stamped on it so you may be able to see it right there it's stamped on the you are a real blessing to everyone around you so you can make them as pow wonderful you wish or not okay that's the first one now let me show you the next one this is the next one and it's not embossed this one is not embossed okay it has some flowers on the inside as well but it's the same i put no ribbon haha <laughs> thank you bobby i love the ribbon in there that was your idea and then i use black because i'm on basic gray what a beautiful day for love hallelujah this is a good day to love people okay so those are the first two now i'm gonna show you what i'm gonna show you the pale papai okay woohoo these are different. Let me show you my different cards in here. Okay, so remember those two strips that we cut right here? Those two strips, what I did is that I used some of my... Um, so my border dies and I cut a border. I put some ribbon at the top. I stamp a flower, kind of pale papaya, and then the sentiment on top. So that is a cool idea right there for you. And again, I love putting those flowers in the center. Now I have the pale papaya. I use some of these. I think this is... Um, where in the world I got this from? I don't remember. <laughs> I'll show them to you. I'll organize them in a minute. <laughs> I use some of my dailies. It's down here. So I must have done something wrong. I don't know what I did, but it was with the two. Yeah, yeah. I took this and I made banners. So I took this and I made banners. You see, that's what I think I did. I made some banners. I put some doilies behind it. Used some of my punches. Super simple cards. I used some of that beautiful embossing folder right there okay let me keep bringing more because there's a bunch um this is one of my favorites okay and i think this is the one using let me move some cards around here i think i'm using the th the four and a quarter by three and a half that's the one i'm using right here the four and a quarter by three and a half i put a little bit of a border in basic gray i use again my same punch that i was using a minute ago Okay, I use the dies that come with the sweet. I and then I put have a perfect birthday, which is part of our stamp set right here. Have a perfect birthday. And these ones are a lot of beautiful flowers. You see them right here. Well, I use those to decorate and a teeny bit of of um silver twine in there. So this is this one. Okay. So let's keep going. This is a different one, and these are just this one's four and a quarter by one and one half each okay so there's two of them they're right here at the bottom i put some jewels i put one more um of this beautiful flower stamp in pale papaya i put the you're a real blessing to everyone around you and i actually punch another one of the paper of the designer's paper and put it in the back with a tiny bit of ribbon super super sweet card and super super simple this is another one that i use again the bottom this one Okay, right there. I use the bottom little, little bit of paper at the bottom. I use some of my punches. I put thank you for inspiring me. This is a postage stamp um, um, punch. And then I put some ribbon. And then I decided to explore and go a little bit into exploration mode, stamping the flowers. I stamp this flower in there. I think this is my green my garden green and then I color it with pencils and look how cool that looks I color it with white pencils yellow pencils and some green pencils and just made a totally different card right there for a background but you put that little piece of, of paper at the bottom um let me bring some more let's see oh I know what this is this is this bottom right here do you see this little tiny one here it's a three and a quarter by two and three quarters well I put it on a pale papaya um, mat, as you see. I put have a perfect birthday. I use one of the doilies that comes with a heart and home suite. I stamp my small flower 
on i think this is what color is this i think this is purple posy i put purple posy in there because i believe it it's sort of like in this paper as well and then i actually die cut another one and put it behind it but the one behind it is not stamped it's just the silhouette of it and put it behind it and added a good nice ribbon all around so this is have a perfect birthday and then i stamped the, the flower on the inside so that goes with that one right there we have so many cards oh my goodness it's just going crazy i have a few more almost done almost done oh remember i told you i have it yeah i knew i knew it so these two are this two okay so i use the four by twos and i um it's actually like six inches but i cut a little bit to make it a five and a half okay and i make this card with one of my borders that is in the big catalog what a beautiful day for love i stamp again my flowers simple cards and i love having my ribbon like that Boop, popping from the top this one has the ribbon on the side so you can make lots of new things you can just leave it like that if you don't have a border you don't have to do a border you can just put the 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 strip of paper and then put some ribbon and stamp on the side so that's another one and i have two more i believe to show you three more oh my goodness how many cards i'm gonna make <laughs> so i have this one yay i have thank you for inspiring me and i think this is the three and three quarter square okay you said those are your favorites are these your favorites haha -ha. i think those are then i use and i cut a i cut a a doily in half i stamp on the doily here and then i put the other half under so it looks like two doilies but there's only one you see it's cut right here it's just covered by the ribbon okay i put a mat on basic gray and i put that piece of three and three quarter in there and i finish it with a little bit of a flower right in the middle because you can write right on top of it so that's one of them and then i have the squares ones okay and this is the ones that i think you can just you one card per square if you want it but in this case i made two cards okay and i decided to put three squares like this kind of like in the corner like a diagonal one two three one two three i put my beautiful doily on the top with cinnamon cider and this one i use this flower and purple posy and one of the flowers i just cut it around with my this is pale papaya with my scissors but thank you for inspiring me down here lots of ribbon because i love ribbons and then this one is just a strip of paper Whoop you know i cut it on the side i love that little diagonal cut have a perfect birthday and i put some jewels on this one at the bottom okay just some jewels right there and this one has the jewels on the doily per se so i totally hope that this is inspiring you to create with what you have if you have one sheet of paper that you're like but i love it i don't want to make just two cards with it or i don't even want to use it i want you to go find the paper that you like or that you don't like whichever and you try to do this one sheet wonder these are the ones that i created today and i love the combination to be honest so I will be posting this once on my blog this week. Be patient with me. I'm doing so much. I'm working with taxes, with homeschooling. Oh dear, having people in high school is a little bit more stressful than ever. <laughs> I'll have this for you as well. And I'll just change this one because I'm pretty sure I have the right one on my phone. So I'll just put it in there for you. But I hope that you are inspired. I'll keep posting all of this on my blog. Please stay in touch, okay? Bobby, thank you so much. You say you love them all. There's Ethel saying that they're all so pretty. Thank you so much for your comments. It blesses me bunches and I have a lot to do. And now I love this combination. Can you take this combination out of your heart? I don't know. I love this combination. <laughs> I used to like this ones, but now I like this ones even more. So I hope that you are, like I said, inspired. I have a word of encouragement. So let me turn my camera around and share it with you for this wonderful, wonderful week. Okay? But God is good. And I have this word that's been in my heart. And we were praying this morning. You know what? We need people that know and learn how to hear the voice of God how to hear Jesus, how to really follow him. And today we were discussing this with our children, praying over them and praying and praying and praying persistently that the Lord open their ears. The word of God says that you shall ask and keep on asking. You should seek and keep on seeking. Knock and keep on knocking because those who ask will receive. Those who seek will find. And those who knock at the door, somebody will answer. So if you need answers and you need the wisdom of God and you want God to actually speak to you, my dears, you have to persevere in your prayer. You have to actually intentionally determining yourself to seek the counsel of God and to hear Him. And how come you think that you can hear God? Well, I want to tell you something that is in the Bible. It says in John 10, 27, this is Jesus talking. 
He said, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. How can you follow someone you cannot listen, right? He's wanting you to be sheep that listen, that hear his voice. And then it says, and I, Jesus talking, gave unto them eternal life and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. That is so powerful. Nobody can snatch you out of the hand of God. No confusion, no deceit, nothing that comes in the news can take you out of your place of peace when you're listening to the shepherd, when you're listening intensely the word of God. So I want you to keep asking, to keep seeking, and to keep knocking at the door and praying particularly that God open your ears to hear his voice. He wants you to carry his message and he wants you to be loud sometimes and to just bring what he has. And he's been this week ministering to my heart. Jessica, just keep carrying the message and also be a witness of my goodness. I will show you my good, my goodness and you will just share it with others. And I'm like, okay, God, I have my eyes open. I have my ears open. I am wanting to hear God and I'm wanting to see his miracles and see his glory. And I know he's moving where you are and he's moving in our nation and he's moving around the world. And we see so many difficult things happening, but you know what? God is sitting on his thrones, on his throne. So please keep your trust in him and keep seeking until he speaks. The word says that his sheep hear his voice. Keep going to church, keep reading your Bible, keep getting together with people of faith that inspire you and help you to grow in the Lord. This is the time to stand still and seek the Lord. I love you ladies. Go stamp and even while you're stamping, just pray. Pray out loud. Praise the Lord. Do something different. Pray for the people that you're blessing with your talent. This is the day the Lord has made. You have a calling. Go ahead and use it for His glory. I love you. Thank you for being here. I'll go back and check your comments. And hopefully you come next Monday and I'll have more ideas for you. God bless you. Ciao, ciao.